Jenna Weston. I uh, live in Hawthorne near Melrose and I first became interested in art when I was a child. Uh, my uncle was a commercial artist and he let me use his paints and um, showed me some tricks you know that he used and, and I, I uh, by the time I was in kindergarten uh, I called myself an artist and I knew that's what I was going to be when I grew up. I went to Michigan State University for my undergraduate. I was a, um, a painting uh, major. And then years later, when I was in my 50s, I decided to get my MFA. And I went to the University of Missouri and uh, got my MFA in fiber arts. So I have painting and fiber arts both. My most memorable art experience, I think, was uh, when I got into a, a gallery in Santa Fe on Canyon Road. Ooh, I feel like you know I'd finally <laughs> reached some kind of a point in my artistic career where uh, I was I was really happy um, to be represented uh, by that gallery. Well, nature is my inspiration for all my work. Uh, I'm also a poet. I do haiku poetry, and that's all about nature. Um, when I was doing the sculptures, it was using natural materials. And now all my subject matter is uh, from the natural world, either animals or plants. Um, that's, that's my love. I'm an environmentalist, and so it all ties in together for me. Well, for years I supported myself as an artist, um, actually doing uh, sculptures out of uh, natural materials like vines and twigs and handmade paper. Uh, and then when I semi-retired, I decided to get back to my roots of painting, which I really love. And I've always been fascinated by sumie, Japanese brush painting. And I was lucky enough to find a teacher here in Gainesville, Stuart Thomas, who is uh, an expert at it, and he's been teaching me for the last seven years. And um, it's, a, it's an ongoing challenge. Uh, it's a very difficult, but seemingly simple kind of painting technique. and. I figure that's going to be my practice the rest of my life. Sumie painting is, is different from traditional um, Western um, watercolor, for instance. Um, it's really focused on bringing the chi, the energy from within, out your hand and onto the page. And it's, it's, a, it's a way of holding the brush, it's a way of breathing, it's, um, it's a spontaneous, uh, kind of expression, um, it's just very, it's very different from the more painterly kind of um, background that I had as a younger person. Um, if you make a mistake, you have to throw it away. I probably keep one painting for every 20 that I do because um, it's unforgiving. If you, if you make a stroke that, that is awkward or doesn't have chi in it, it's, uh, it shows. <laughs> so um, I kind of like that though because when you finally get something that works, it's, it's a real um, amazing thing. Um, the idea is to use the fewest strokes 
uh, possible to convey what you're trying to show in your painting. It's sort of like haiku poetry. You use the fewest words, but they have to be the right words. And the same with the strokes. You can just use a few strokes and the viewer fills in the rest themselves. So you kind of become a co-creator with the artist by um, finishing that line that wasn't connected. So the Sumie painting is, is kind of like a practice. Uh, it's, it's a meditative kind of activity. Uh, we start out by, um, there's an ink stick and an ink stone and you grind your own ink for about five or 10 minutes before you start painting. And that settles you into a meditative state with a repetition of the grinding. And then you have this really rich, wonderful ink that you can paint with. Um, the brush is held quite far up so that you're not so tight, like like how we do in Western with a pencil really tight to the bottom. But this, it lets you move from your whole arm so you can get big strokes and, and loose strokes. Uh, Sumie, the Japanese brush painting, is uh, my primary uh, media that I'm working in right now, but I also do a lot of printmaking and I teach printmaking and uh, Sometimes I still do some collage type things with nature, uh, with handmade paper. So I have a wide variety of things that I enjoy. Um, when I was teaching in the public schools, I had to learn every medium. So I can't quite keep my hands out of other ones too. I'm going to be offering a workshop on uh, painting plum blossoms at the next um, workshop that I give at uh, Mossman and I think people will really enjoy that one. It's a combination of very chi-oriented things and then delicate flowers that go with it, so the contrast um, is it's going to be fun. I recently taught a group of um, senior citizens um, at a retirement home, some of whom had never had art since they were in grade school, and they were so excited when they could actually do a finished painting and hang it up and show everyone. Uh, I was excited for them because they rediscovered their creativity in their 80s or something. So uh, it's a thrill.